Now for this question, we've got to integrate 8x cubed plus 6x to the power half minus 5 with respect to x. And this is fairly straightforward because all we've got to do for terms like this is just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So what we've got here equals, we'll take the 8 and the integral of x cubed is just to add 1 to the power, so that's x to the power 4, and divide by the new power, 4. Then we come on to the next term. All we do is add 1 to the power, so we've got 1 added to the half. Don't write 1 and a half, but write it as 3 over 2. And then you divide by that new power, 3 over 2. And here we've got the constant. When you integrate any constant, you just simply put the x against it. So it is going to be minus 5, and then you just put the x. And don't forget the plus c, or any letter of your choice. That's the constant of integration. Now all we need to do is clean up each of these terms. So the first one nice and easy, the 4 cancels straight into that 8 then going twice, so you're going to get 2x to the power 4. But with this one here, what I'd want to do is times top and bottom by 2. Some of you might think of turning this upside down and multiplying by 2 thirds, but I would certainly discourage that. But I would say that we're multiplying top and bottom by 2, so you get 12, 6 times 2 is 12, and then on the bottom you just get 3. And that's going to be x to the power 3 over 2. Then we've got minus 5x, that obviously doesn't need to be changed, and that constant of integration. So if we clean this up further, we've got 12 thirds here, which cancels to 4 whole ones. So we could write this now as 2x to the power 4 plus 4x to the power 3 over 2 minus 5x plus c. And that's essentially it. They'll be quite happy to accept that answer. But with just a further practice for you, let's just see what we've got here. What's another way of writing 4x to the power 3 over 2? Just as some revision. Well, it's going to be 4 multiplied by the square root of x. That 2 there represents the square root of x and then we've got this cubed. And you could write the whole lot in brackets here, if you like, with a cube there, or you could just write the root of x cubed, it would be up to you. Then we've got minus 5x plus c. But as I said earlier, this would be quite acceptable for this particular question. All right? Just a bit of revision here on this term though.